Hello and welcome to Slightly Impressive Innkeepers Holding Wet Bags. My name is Griff and we are playing the World of Warcraft 10 Man Challenge. I've decided to start calling it the 10 Man Pepper Challenge because uh, it's more catchy. I, it sounds more attention grabby, right? People will be like, what's the pepper challenge? The pepper challenge is when you have a pepper here with you that's really starting to not look so good. I don't know if I can get a close up there. I mean, this is the best. I bought three and the other two are really brown, but this one's turning brown on the end. Uh, it's rather shriveled, especially on this side. It's not looking so great. Uh, I don't know at what point it becomes unsafe to eat, but I prefer not to eat it anyway. Uh, so what I'm doing, if you're new here, is the Tin Man Challenge. I sort of made it up. It's the Iron Man Challenge, but if you die, you just keep going. So you don't have to constantly start new characters for the stream. Uh, but if you die, you have to eat a pepper, is what I've decided on the punishment. The punishments may change. Later on, we may do a different punishment for each death, except that I'm not going to die. So, it's going to be fine. It doesn't matter how moldy my peppers get, because I ain't even going to need them. And you're all going to be so disappointed. Oh, I have another Stromgarda quest. I didn't realize that. Was I supposed to be picking up badges? We don't need no stinking badges. Did you know that's not... That's not even the real quote from the movie. I looked it up on YouTube. He doesn't say we don't need no stinking badges. He says... We ain't got no stinking badges or something like that. And then he says, I ain't got to show you no stinking badges or something like that. Like he says like three sentences, but it gets condensed. It's just like the Luke, I am your father thing. He doesn't say Luke, I am your father. He says, no, I am your father. But you can't quote that because it doesn't make any sense. You could be talking about anybody's father. Look, a fellow traveler on a ram with a bear friend. They are out having adventures. Just like us. I'm going the wrong way. Doing great. Alright, I'm doing great. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for the encouragement. I don't know what you're talking about specifically, but yeah. I am doing great. I'm level 30. I don't want to gloat, though. When I start gloating, it starts, it starts getting dicey. We're just, we're just appreciative. We're just grateful for being 30 and not being dead. Just like real life. I'm very grateful to be 30 and not dead. Um, hopefully Griff Hammer here will progress a little bit faster than I do in my real life. But really, life, it's, what is life if not an open world MMO RPG? We play our roles and we wander about this world freely. We gain skills, we level up, we craft things if we so choose. And, uh, you know, sometimes we go into abandoned forests. Well, not for Why did I call this a forest? We go to abandoned towns, castles, townships, I don't know. And we slaughter mercenaries. You know, just like real life. All right, I've got to get some badges. It turns out I do indeed need some stinking badges. So, all right. Uh, you did not seem to have any badges. Also, it took quite some time for me to loot the useless loot that you had. So, that's a bit of a concern. My latency is not high, so I don't know what's going on there. Alright, there's a badge. Maybe I didn't have this quest before. Maybe it just constantly sends you back in here. I don't know. There sure are a lot of other players here, though. I guess these guys are on my side. I don't understand why the troll hunters are here. It's like we took over parts of the city to hunt trolls. I, there aren't even any trolls here. Maybe because all the troll hunters are here. I really like their shields, though. I want a red fist shield. How do I become part of the Storm Guard, the Strom Guard defense squad? I want to see what this looked like before it was all in ruins. I don't really know what city this is. Is this city relevant to <clears throat> any other lore other than to what's going on in this game? I mean, in this zone, <laughs> in this game. <laughs> is this city relevant to real life? Or is that just a World of Warcraft type thing? Last time I had a lot of goofy lag. I logged out and I was totally safe and wasn't even in combat and then I logged back in and I was dead. 
It is the kingdom of Erathor. It is significant in the lore. Oh, okay. All right. I guess Griff Hammer's just feeling kind of slow today. He's just like, Oi, I don't feel like picking up heavy things today. I'll pick them up very slowly. Put them in my backpack. Man, I don't understand why you've got this mustard-colored handkerchief on your face. It totally ruins the whole ensemble. And a purple belt? Who dressed you today, sir? Let's see this person. Oh, another fashion disaster. Jeez. At least he's got a normal colored belt. Oh, I'm being attacked by somebody else too. Okay. Oh, I got two badges from that one girl. What was she doing? Why is she hoarding all the badges? Some of these people didn't even get badges. What happens if you don't have a badge? You get kicked out? Is it like BlizzCon or something? I wouldn't want to live here. It looks muggy and damp. It looks like it's either kind of cold and wet all the time, or like it's misty and foggy, or it's just like really humid and muggy. Either way, you're just like always a little bit wet, and all of your stuff is sticky all the time. It looks like Yorkshire in England. Well, I will make sure to never go there, although I do enjoy your terriers. Well it will be grim news to bear. But it is better than the uncertainty of a missing loved one. I, I do not like giving grim news to bears. The poor bears, it hurts their feelings. Have a good one. Oh yeah, level 31. Alright, so Griff Hammer aging faster than Griff confirmed. Yes, Yorkshire. It's a hobbit town, right? It's just like a bunch of hobbits and they have little Yorkies. And they just brush them. And put little bows in their hair and they yap and yap and yap. And it's a really nice place. But it's all wet and gross. It's foggy like this, apparently. So it's not really that great of a place. Oh, there's some sort of... Some sort of bonfire going on here. Do you have a burn permit? Uh, permit. Not permit. Those are minty flavored permits. Hello. Oh, it is a horrible life. Now you should be a no watery grave right now, not sitting here by the fire, breathing fresh air. The crew tried so hard to save my beautiful maiden's folly. Bless the boys, bless their hearts. O'Breen made it to the shore safely, but we weren't so lucky. The seas just sank on us, I swear. The seas sank on you? One second we're afloat, and the one, what, the, uh, what, the next water is rushing in. And those beasts... Killed all of the survivors. Horrible Naga scum. I went black and ended up here saved. I want those beasts dead. Hmm. What happened to me? Water breathing. Oh. Um. Okay. I don't know how he gave me that. He's a magic pirate man. Now that we are full-fledged Blackwater Raiders, it is our job to help Mr. O'Brien locate the lost elven treasure. It is next to impossible to find the gems in the dark sea without aid. The doctor has constructed some goggles that will hit- <coughs> Excuse me. I got the pneumonias. Uh, it's the goggles. Charged with the energy derived from the enchanted stone in the cave just up the hill. But the cave is cursed. When we get close, we get ambushed. Defend me, and I can harness the energy from the stone into the goggles. Man, I don't understand what we're doing. Some kind of magic pirate goggles. I need to talk to Shakes. There's Shakes down there. We, where are we going, little buddy? You're taking me into a cave? What if I don't want to go to a cave? What are you cooking over here? Why are you cooking all the way up here? What am I supposed to defend you from exactly? I don't see any beasts. I think it's an old wives tale and a young wives tale and a middle-aged wives tale. Just all of the wives and they're telling their beast tales and they got you all scared. Yeah, see? Nothing's nothing's wrong. Oh, beasts. Okay, these are elementals. Not beasts. But, I mean, close enough. Okay, go back to your goggle charging or whatever. Alright, I'm so glad I could uh, be here to help you charge your goggles. I don't know how you're going to wear goggles with a monocle. That's a really weird way to affix a monocle to your face. There's just so much going on here. The treasure has been on the seafloor so long that the gems have calcified into thick stone. 
but the power harnessed in these goggles will allow you to locate them easily. I'll swim down there myself, but, well, I have important scientific business to tend up on the safe, dry land. Uh, yeah. Ahoy, paladin. Any friend of square toe is a friend of mine. You'll find plenty of work needs doing around here. We're not sitting in this cove twiddling our thumbs by choice. That's a nice red hat you got there, buddy. Oh, I'm supposed to go off into the water. Okay. I still got... Yeah, I still got Herbert. He's just kind of keeping his distance. I don't know why. Maybe I'm getting kind of smelly. All this adventuring and I never really bathe or anything. Good thing I'm going in the water. Yes, I will get clean and also get experience. It is great. It's great plan. Come, Herbert. Let us bathe. We are getting to the point where I need to start paying attention. And, like, purposely trying not to die. Although, really not having any problems yet. There's a Venn diagram of quest objectives here. I'll stay right in the middle. Right here where the fishes are. Hello, fishes! Those are very big fish. That would be a little disturbing to swim by a fish that big. Even though it looks docile. For Squirto! For the light! I don't remember who Squirto is, but apparently he gave us some quests. I've always said I like the Horde story better, but I like the Alliance cities better, so I play Alliance mostly. And really, the Horde story lately isn't nearly as cool as it used to be. <laughs> Ever since Thrall was like, yeah, I'm gonna put this psychopath in charge, and it'll be fine, and then everything went bad, and he was like, oh, not my fault. And now it's just a rotating cast of war chiefs. I don't want no part of that. I'll stay over here on the Alliance. Shipwrecks are scary. I would never explore a shipwreck in real life. If I saw one in the distance, I'd be like, nope, do an about face and swim back to dry land and never go in the ocean again. I don't even like watching those documentaries of like, when they explore the Titanic and everything. It's creepy. I don't want no part of that. It's all dark and there's like weird stuff growing on everything. And there could be a ghost or a shark around any corner. Yeah, and there's probably corpses. I mean, there have to be some skeletons down there. Unless the ocean stuff has, like, dissolved them by now or something. I don't know. Those scum deserve what they got. Well, nothing will ever bring me ship or me crew back. The death of those naga gives me some solace. How did the goggles work? Quite well, actually. Did everything function properly? Adjustments can be made if necessary. Oh, and I'll need those goggles back when you're done. I'm sure Captain O'Brien will have many uses for them later on. Let's not leave Captain O'Brien waiting. He'll want to see those gems firsthand. After all, that's why we're here. And after a few weeks of consorting with those pirates, the professor and I have realized the last thing that's good for our health is to be caught hanging on to their treasure. I'll take these over here to Shakes. Hey, Shakes, my friend. My lad. My... Uh... Mate? My mate. But not not like a life mate or anything. Just like the friendly kind. The kind that you would spell with an M and then the letter 8. On forums or some such. Now what do I do? All hands on deck. I'm confused. All hands on deck. Okay, the ship deck? I'm a little confused because you seem to have a ship. Oh, you guys are saying that you don't. Oh, hello. Okay, all hands on this deck, I suppose. Better consecrate this deck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't see that coming, did you, lizard men? Yeah. All right, then. Are we still... We still need to have our hands on the deck. It's hard to fight with your hands on the deck, really. I mean, it should just be all feet on deck. That would That would work a little bit better. But it just, uh, it's just like one foot at a time, though, or you can't really walk around. Consecration on cooldown, what's the deal? There we go, yeah. Killed by consecration, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, I better heal myself. All right then, everything is fine. Oh, hello, little buddy. Oh, that's not the NPC, he just looks like the NPC. Oh, where did you come from? Wow, okay. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine, Shakes. You can just stand there. Uh, I really don't actually need your help. Although, he does seem quite strong. Unless that little rogue was shooting him, too. I don't know. Ahoy, paladin. What brings you to the bridge? I was just helping you fight. What are you talking about? So the little gnome... And also, it's not a bridge. This is a dock. So the little gnomes prove their worth after all. 
I knew we kept those ankle biters around for a reason. <laughs> ankle biters. Oh, nice. This is bad. Seems the dagger spines are amassing for an attack. Naga are known for their ruthlessness in battle. They will keep attacking until I am dead. I don't value my life above that of my crew members, but you must help to defend me. The crew will not be able to make it back to Booty Bay without my knowledge of the seas. The Naga will be coming from the sea. I need you to remain up here with me to fend off the attack. Main the cannon and drive them back. Where's the cannon? I actually wasn't paying attention, Shakes. Uh, I don't see a cannon, like, in the immediate vicinity. Do you need me to go up to the ship? Are you a cannon I can man? Nope. Uh, these cannons seem unmanable. Maybe there are no cannons. Maybe that was just an expression. Uh, he seems fine. <laughs> it's really not a problem for old Shakes. Shaky though he may be. Bonk. Clank, clank, bonk. Oh, I took some damage there. I gotta be more careful. Oh. Oh. I could have hit a cooldown, though. I'm tired of defending you, Shakes. Come on, you don't need me to defend you. These attacks are very few and far between. Maybe I just jumped in the middle of somebody else's quest. That does make sense. I did see that other guy level up when we were talking to him, so yeah, I guess we were just doing his quest. Okay, okay. There, I defended you twice, is that good enough? We'll be heading out as soon as the tide rises. If you weren't such a promising hero, I'd offer you a place in my crew, but I can tell you have bigger fish to fry. I do not fry the fish, I hit them with my hammer. Even if you are a puny dwarf. A puny dwarf? You're just a human, well, I'm stronger than you, son. I'm almost as tall as you on this screen for some reason. Puny dwarf. I am not I'm not your friend anymore. Even though you have a cool hat and a cool blue jacket and you're a magic pirate and you have a cool beard. I do kinda like this guy. He's got a bit of a man crush on Shake So Breen here. I <laughs> should cosplay as him. I'll go to BlizzCon cosplaying as Shake So Breen. Everybody will be like, What? I'm like, yeah, you know that pirate? In the uh, that obscure quest line in Arathi Highlands, like down by the coast. Yeah, I'm, I'm him. Every, he's everybody's favorite NPC, right? Oh, I guess that wrapped up that whole thing. So let's just go find Quay on the hill overlooking Goshek Farm. Goshek. Goshek, all right. Goshek yourself before you wreck yourself, is what someone said. And then they decided to name the farm that. Okay. Infiltrate the Goshek farm. Wait, I'm supposed to go to the ledge overlooking the farm. Oh no, I've made a horrible error. <laughs> yes, I have not done this properly. Oh no. Don't tell anyone I was here. Or I'll just kill you. Then, yes, dead. Dead orcs tell no tales. Having trouble going through your pockets. Your pockets were sewn shut. It's hard to rifle few through them to get your copper. You sure are a pale one, Quay. What's the deal? You need to spend more time out in the sun. You need to get your vitamin D. Refuge points sent you. Good to know they're still there. You sounded a bit like a dwarf there at first. Um, We've got some interesting things to check into there, Paladin. It's funny, Ken and I have been through so much together, and we find ourselves back in Arathi like so many years ago. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know your personal backstory, lady. But I think it's funny how uh, NPCs and quest givers will refer to you by your class instead of your name. It's like if you met somebody, it's like if you called a plumber to come work on your house and then you were just like, Hi there, plumber! So, how has your day been going, plumber? I've sure got lots to do today, plumber. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can't just refer to somebody by their job. Alright, we broke up a plot to create a new plague right here, her and I. Oh, she's filling me in, okay. Doesn't look like the Horde learned their lesson, cause they're all over this farm yet again. Their undead courier is shuffling around as obvious as daylight. If you want to help, find the courier and bring back whatever they're carrying. Be careful. Okay, my pale friend, I will find the courier. We're not having any problems, the old clink clink bonk strategy seems to be working against these guys just fine. Oh, oh, my cooldown wasn't ready. I didn't even have to bonk. 
I just clinked and clinked. And he went down like a sack of hammers. Oh, I just need to find the courier. Oh, this is why I had so much trouble before, because the place it puts on the map is not actually where the courier is. Oh, oh, there he is. Maybe. Yeah, there he is. He's gonna have friends though, right? I gotta be careful. We'll have the utmost care. Oh, maybe he's just by himself. I thought he had a bunch of people on horseback with him. This is just one little zombie lady. 32, all right. I can go do Mara. Oh, there's another courier. We don't need multiple couriers. That's just excessive. Which ability did I, oh, I didn't even look at the ability. Oh, divine protection. Reduces all damage you take by 20% for eight seconds. Uh, Pretty boring. I guess I get sort of like an orange ball sometimes. 